This video is a very special one. For the first time, our group of friends will travel together to the other side of the world to experience Japanese culture drifting in its purest form, the highs, the lows, and the pure madness of Ebiso Spring Matsuri. Enjoy watching. Good morning, people on the internet. We're off to Ebiso. Anyway, yeah, we are in Japan. You guys are very... Oh no, you're not the great quality, guys. Wait, let me just fix that. Oh, there you go, much better. Let's go. First day in Japan, we spent traveling. We picked up our rental van in Narita and drove north to meet Gobla, who was in Japan for a couple weeks already. Okay, just a quick uh, explanation of what's going on. So we came to Japan again, and this time is super cool because me and Marek obviously been here before with Gobla, and Bozo and Boogie uh, are here for the first time. So we flew in yesterday. Today morning, me and Marek, we picked up the van, and we are now going to Ebisu. We're gonna meet Gobla and the rest of the boys. They are already there at Ebisu, but on the way, we're just gonna visit a couple cool places. Boogie, what do you think of Japan? What? What do you think of Japan? <laughs> 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 Why are you wearing the same shit? Yeah. You look like minions. This shit fire. Show the fire. The fire. Oh, this shit fire. This shit fire, man. This shit fire. Twins. Uh, you actually look like twins. It's just Marek has a fucking grandpa father. trousers. He's just and my crocs. father and I am very proud I, I, of him. The lowest IQ twins <laughs> in the world. <laughs> On the way, we stopped in some shops and we visited RE MMEA workshop where we found a couple of Somerix 7s. So we just came to RE MMEA. And G just went to ask a guy if we can come out of the car and film. What you say, Bozo? Man, that black FC looks so oh, sick. Yeah. To be honest, I like the FC here more than FD. We made it to RE Amamiya shop. It's a very cool place for the boys because G drives RX7 and obviously Bozo has three of them. So, super cool, Rotary Heaven. Also, I'm first time driving in a car uh, through Japan, which is a bit of a struggle because, of course, I have some cars with a right-hand drive, well, steering wheel, but since I was driving on the left-hand side of the road, it's been like many, many years since I... UK? Yeah, since I lived in UK. So, seven years? So, so. We have AC, we only missing B and D. B and D? Yeah, big dicks. <laughs> what the f*** <laughs> is wrong with you, my guy? driving for the last two hours and now we're going to see an old friend. Of course. Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> we didn't lose it. So we're playing this game of how fast you can go through the tall barriers without smashing them. And some lost. The mirror is still fine. So we just lost a piece of plastic. That's not bad at all. How is this side? Oh, this side is fine. Look, perfect. Bro, we're just missing a bit of plastic. That's, ah. that's fine. Hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Suzuki-san is an OG drifter and founder of Arios, which is an exotic and prestigious car dealership and showroom. You might see him on the internet because he's drifting this crazy McLaren MP4 GT3 car. After our visit in Japan last year, we stayed in contact and when we released our nitride gloves a couple months ago, we decided to display them in his place in Koreyama, Japan. You have some RWB merch, you have some Hot Wheels, you have some Liberty Walk merch, just next to slammed Ferraris and Porsches and Skylines and everything. And, uh, and look this, just right here. Hard to describe how happy I am with this. I mean, that is so cool. Isn't it? It's mad seeing a product that like... That we did? Yeah, that we've made and it's sitting in a shelf in Japan. Yeah, in it's such a cool like place, yeah. yeah. Madness. So if you somehow in Koreyama in Japan and you want to have our nitrate stickers or our nitrate racing gloves, you can come to Mr. Arios, visit the shop, and buy it here in shop in Japan. It's like... 
Okay, we are leaving this place. Big thank you to Mr. Suzuki, deep down from my heart, to make something like this possible for us. And we're gonna see each other tomorrow because he's coming to Evisu tomorrow. He's bringing McLaren. I'm sorry, okay? Silence can often be stronger than words. After visiting Arios, we met Gobla and some more Polish friends. We had a couple drinks together and we went to sleep early because the next day was going to be a special one. We woke up early in a beautiful place called Adatara. It's a forest in the middle of nowhere filled with little wooden houses, nature, trees and waterfalls. packed all the gear and left our house, got into our cute van and drove to Ebisu. Ebisu Circuit is a Japanese mecca of drifting, legendary racing complex built in the 80s, high in the mountains with seven racetracks. It's a place that every fan of drifting should experience at least once in their lifetime. And here we are for Ebisu Spring Matsuri. Matsuri is an event that takes place on Ebisu three times a year, when all seven tracks are open for drifting for the whole weekend. That's drifting for 44 hours non-stop. It always brings drifters from all around the world and they can meet and drive together. We came to experience all of it with Gobla, who has been drifting in Ebisu Matsuri since 2015. First thing after arriving we went to Nishi track to watch some drifting. It was a proper Matsu review. Long car trains going door to door with skilled drivers who at this single moment don't think about anything else than pure drifting fun. I've seen it before, but the boys were shocked and Bozo actually was having a bit of a mental breakdown. In a good way. Marek took the drone out and got some really cool shots, but... Well, shit happens. But everything around was so awesome that we didn't really care. From Nishi we went to the north course. The roads connecting different tracks are super tight and narrow. The slopes are very aggressive and there is a couple tunnels on the way that are only a couple centimeters wider than a car. So driving a van between tracks was an adventure of its own. The north course. This is the track that we drove last year and that I have my favorite drifting memories from. We spent pretty much whole day standing next to that wall on the main straight, looking at the cars fully sending third gear just half a meter from where we were standing. Holy shit! Oh. Water on the tires. Unbelievable energy, noise, and smoke. You can feel that the wall and your whole body vibrates when car after car attacks that wall. The feeling really hard to describe. On the north course you could see a huge variety of cars, from complete drift missiles, through very clean, almost classic cars, all the way to... Yes. Oh, yeah. Nothing can beat that McLaren. Well, unless it's a Formula D Libertuok S15 that goes so hard that after his run everyone needs to wait for 2-3 minutes for the smoke to disappear. Mental.
we just stayed there looking at drifting cars until it got dark, but jet lag kicked in, so we went back home to get some rest and get ready for the day too. We had a proper sleep and at 9am we went back to Ebiso. First track that we went to was Higashi. Higashi is a full-size racetrack that is only open for drifting three times a year during Matsuri. Super fast entry, beautiful view of the main straight and the mountains in the background. Then we went back to Nishi. After 10 minutes that S14 crashed and the track had to be cleaned, so we went to the north course again. At north we met a car that in my opinion was the most beautiful car of the whole Matsuri. It was Eot's Black S15, the perfect balance between style and performance and he was fully sending that car next to the wall. At North we met something super unusual. There was a group of deaf Japanese drifters. Don't ask me how, but they were drifting together as hard as everyone, without hearing a thing. Also in the pits there were a group of people that set up the tents and they were basically living in the pits next to the racetrack for the whole weekend. How cool is that? The last hour before Matsuri ends, everyone wanted to go as hard as possible. It was carnage.
And then at 4 p.m., after all weekend of drifting non-stop, something very strange happened. The silence. And this is it, the Matsuri just finished. And this place now gonna be quiet. I mean, at least for a couple hours until tomorrow, after two days of just, I don't know. If you've seen the footage of what just happened, you know. Um, yeah. Bozo, where is Sam? Ah, ah, you cheeky boy. Okay, and this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And just quick announcement. We just dropped our first Night Ride posters. There's this design and there's also two more designs. You can buy them separately or you can get all three posters as a bundle with a better price. So go Night Ride PL. We also restocked all the different things that we used to have on the website. And there's also new t-shirts with the same design as here. And also I want to say big thank you for the people on the internet that go to the website and just buy stuff. Because of you guys we can be in places like this and do all this stuff, so arigato gozaimasu for me. And also stay tuned for the next video because we actually bought a car in Japan. I'm not gonna say too much about it, but if you've seen this video, it was somewhere there. So you've seen it, um, you can guess in the comments which car of the whole cars in the video we bought. And yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Where is this guy? My days. This guy. Thinking about the things that she said, that she said wasn't it?